If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG Empress. Gotta get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. If you paid attention to this channel, like you should, you know what I'm talking about, then this news is nothing new. But if you haven't been, well, we're gonna drop some news on your head top. Some new news. You feel me? That's not really new, but it's still news nonetheless. You feel me? So we have Naya Inway versus Sam Goodman happening on Christmas Christmas Eve, December 24th. You know, this year it's being finalized right now as we speak. So yeah, we we we've been let you know that this fight was in the works, but now it's closer to being finalized than it was yesterday and the day before that. So it's basically coming into fruition, good Lord willing. Now I know a lot of y'all like well, who is Sam Goodman? Who is Sam Goodman? He's an undefeated fighter, you know, 19 and 0 out of Australia, you know, 25 years old. He's, he's pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty decent matchup. It's not the best, you know, I'm not saying that you should be super excited for it, but we got to put some respect on Sam Goodman, Goodman's name, right? He is the mandatory in not only the IBF sanctioned body, but also the WBO sanctioned body. So he's a mandatory in two sanctioned bodies, and I think that's, that, that's good enough, you know what I'm saying? Um, but however, a lot of people did complain about, you know, cinnamon. <laughs> No, Canelo Alvarez going against Edgar Belanga, who was number one in WBA, so he was his mandatory as well. And um, it wasn't a called mandatory, but he was in that mandatory position. And a lot of people complained about that fight, and I don't think that fight is that much worse than this fight you know what i'm saying or that or or now you anyway versus sam goodman that much better than that fight but you know you still got to respect it because well at least i do because now you anyway this will be his third fight this year and i see this as another opportunity for him to stay active you know so i think that's dope you know his first fight was against lewis neary i think lewis neary was a little overrated you know he lost by stoppage to brandon figueroa prior prior to but if you consider the historical significance you know with lewis neary having a history of cheating in japan and being banned subsequently because of that cheating you know miss away and, uh, and other banned substances in the system we do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes that's all you know the fact that they lifted the ban and had now you anyway come put the beats on him you know from recompense for his previous slights and you know that's why that that fight was significant and then tj doheny that fight was trash you know your fucking place trash i don't want to hear that from anybody TJ Doheny was what four and three in his last seven fights prior to uh, uh, losing it anyway. That fight was terrible. Um, you know, only people gonna pretend like it was a good fight, but that's for you over there. I love boxing, so we analyze and critique boxing from a holistic viewpoint and we do it equally and fairly for every single boxer. You know, what I'm saying we're not gonna fake the funk for nobody, but so that fight was terrible. However, the saving grace, the silver lining is that that's a common opponent you know that's the commonality between sam goodman and naya anyways that they both beat tj doheny and like i said this is naya anyway that was naya anyway's second fight this year and sam goodman will be his third so you know the fact that he's staying uh um uh, active is great so th in this case we're taking quantity over quality because you know tj doheny's not good but i'd rather see naya anyway in the ring than be inactive so that's why i'm not mad at it but this this fight against sam goodman is decent like i said he's a mandatory in two two sanctioning bodies and let's think about his other mandatories right I would much, much rather prefer him fight uh, the WBA mandatory, which is MJ Akhmadaliev. Um, I think that's the best challenger. I think Naya anyway still beats him, but I much rather prefer him. But other than that, Sam Goodman is is is, is a is a is a good um is a good opponent because Alan David uh, Picasso, you know, he just struggled with um, Azat. Uh, What's his name again? Havanesian, I believe. Uh, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it, but I believe it's Azat Havanesian. And uh, that fight, like I said, he really struggled. And some people thought it was a controversial decision. I was okay with uh, Picasso edging it out. It was a close fight. Could have went either way. But I could understand people thinking Azat won. And if I'm Azat, I definitely thought I won. But so I, I think Sam Goodman is a better opponent than that mandatory. Um, so, you know, my, my, own, my only gripe would be that I prefer MJ Akhmadali. But like I said, Sam Goodman is the number one ranked uh, opponent uh, in... Um, um, in two sanctioned advice, IBF and WBO. So I'm not too mad at this fight, man. I'm looking forward to it. Well, plus, we get to see the monster again on December 24th. But y'all let me know in the comments, do you, do, are y'all ready for this fight? Do you think it's a good fight? Are you disappointed with who it is? And who? Would, if, and if you are disappointed, who would you rather him fight, man? I think Naya Inouye is, uh, I think this is fine because he's staying busy. But I do want to eventually see uh, Naya Inouye versus MJ Akhmadaliev. Even though MJ Akhmadaliev lost to Marlon Tapales, it was a close fight. I believe it was, lo it was a split, yeah, it was a split decision uh, um, um, loss um, from from 
MJ Agmadali of Tomorrow to Palace. So it, it could have went either way, you know what I'm saying? And so I think that that uh I still want to see him and Naya anyway, even though I think Naya anyway beats MJ. I think, still think that's the best fight in the Super Band and Weight Division. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Look forward to Sam Goodman versus Naya anyway on the 24th of December. Good Lord willing, man. I can't wait. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.